Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the top tricks on Nubia Neo 3 5G. Okay, first let's open up our settings. Uh, and now, let's go straight into the features. Uh, and in here I'll show you, in my opinion, the most interesting ones. Uh, let's scroll down and let's click on gesture and motion. Uh, in here we have some uh, cool shortcuts. Let's begin with the gestures. We have things such as double tap screen to wake, double, scrap, uh, double tap screen to sleep. In my opinion, it is a really cool thing. Uh, thanks to that, when our phone is lying flat just like that, when you want to open up the screen, all you need to do is just is to simply tap on the screen and you can take a look on the hour. Uh, you're also able to see the notifications. And now if you want to turn it off so the battery won't be consumed, double tap once again and the screen turns off. Really easy thing but worth enabling uh, we also have a cool way to take a screenshot uh, we have three finger swipe up for split screenshot three finger swipe down for a screenshot and a three finger long press for area screenshot mm, let me show you how it works uh, let's begin with the mm, split screen mm, so to do it slide to the upside just like that now you can see that the settings uh, which is our app that we were uh, in and now we can see a list down below of another thing that we can launch. So for example, let's try to launch Keep Notes. And now you can see that our screen has been perfectly split in half. And we can do two things at the same time. We can quickly take notes and also, for example, uh, keep digging through the settings or check other things in them. A pretty cool thing. Uh, you can, of course, adjust the size of those windows by grabbing this bar in the middle. And if you click on those three dots, you can swap the sides, you can change the app. Oh, something weird happened. So let's go again. Uh, and also you can create a shortcut if you click on that plus button, click on continue. Let's say that we are using uh, this preset really often, I mean settings and the notes open in the split screen. And uh, now we have just created a shortcut and now uh, when I want to quickly open those apps at the same time. All I need to do is to open up this shortcut, simply tap on it, and you can see that both apps are opening in the split screen mode. Really useful thing. Okay, uh, back into settings. Now scroll down again into the features, and now let's go with the mm, three finger swipe down for a screenshot. Really easy thing. Uh, you know, the classic way to create a screenshot is by clicking a power button and volume down button just like that uh, but let's do it the other way so simply slide three fingers and our screenshot has been taken really cool thing uh, and now uh, three fingers long press for an area screenshot simply hold and now select the part of the screen that you want to take a screenshot of so let's say I only want that, uh, that part Oh, something went wrong. Let's do it again. Okay. And now I can select which part of the screen I want to take a screenshot of. To save it, click this button. Okay. Mm, down below, we have the motion. And we have features such as race to wake, our answer, pick up the phone to lower ringtone volume, pocket mode, sn snooze, uh, dismiss an alarm, change to the earpiece, uh, and shake to turn on flashlight. Mm. Let's begin with the race to wake. Uh, simply, if your phone is lying flat, just like that, and when it's screen, it's turned off, uh, all you need to do to launch the screen is to simply lift up your phone to launch the screen. We can click on try it. So now we just need to pick it up. And the phone has been awakened. That's how it works. Also, we have the auto answer. Uh, to answer an incoming call, just put the phone up to your ear. We can click on try it. I have put it next to my ear and also the call has been answered. That's how it works. Next thing. Pick up the phone to lower ringtone volume. Let's click on try it. Oh, 
Okay, and the ringtone volume has been lowered. Next thing, uh, pocket mode. Uh, if the phone is in your pocket and not in silent mode, it will vibrate and and ring at full volume when a call comes. Mm, snooze, dismiss, and alarm. We have tap to snooze. And also turn over to dismiss. You can keep them enabled. Uh, also change to earpiece. Put the phone up to your ear to turn off speakerphone when you are in the call. You can enable it. You can also click on try it. And we can also shake to turn on the flashlight. Uh, it is one of my favorites. Let's click on try it. And now, uh, now we just need to simply shake our phone to launch the flashlight. Really cool thing. If you uh, repeat that, the flashlight will be turned off. Also really cool thing. Okay, so that's when it comes to the motion and uh, my favorite features. Uh, and now let me show you the, I think the best thing that we have on this device because this phone is designed for gaming. We have a whole game center. So uh, let's open up the game space first. Okay, and let's start a game first. You can see that it's uh, automatically optimizing our device for the best performance. Uh, we can enable intelligent learning. And now, uh, to launch this menu, we need to slide from the edge twice to launch the game space. Uh, right in here above, you can select the refresh rate for the game. Always pick the highest value. Also, if you click on this button, you can select the uh, game mode, echo, balance, or the rise. Currently, in my case, it's set on the rise mode, uh, and thanks to that, we have the best performance possible, but uh, the power uh, consumption is a little bit increased, but the performance is in uh, the best way possible. And next to it, we can quickly start recording. We can uh, lock rotation. So, uh, for example, by an accident, uh, nothing wrong will uh, happen during the gameplay. The screen won't be rotated and we won't get distracted. Really cool thing, worth enabling. We can also quickly start recording the um, screen. We can click in here also the optimize button. That's the thing that uh, also launched uh, automatically when we have launched the game. Uh, and now one of my favorite things uh, is under this button, because on this device we have shoulder triggers uh, they are right in here as you flip the phone in here when i'm uh, touching with my fingers currently uh, those buttons are available to customize you can see that we have uh, left and right shoulder trigger and we can select actions for them we have the single tap long press uh, rapid fire motion sensing dual operation and many more and two other modes Mm, you can change the position of those uh, shoulder triggers uh, For example right in here and right in here and Now during the gameplay we don't need to tap Anywhere on the screen for if we want to for example drift in this game or use a nitro and those buttons uh, are uh, right in here and right in here uh, We can simply select the left and right trigger on those places and we'll be able to launch the nitro uh, and drift by simply tapping those shoulders above. You can see that they are fully responsive. So thanks to that, we can grab our device more comfortably and we don't need to use, you know, our thumbs to play. We can simply use our pointing fingers. Let me show you how it works. So uh, I'll select right shoulder in here and in here. Okay, and now I will start a race to show you how it works. Uh, let me only pick the race, maybe this one, click on next. Let's select our car, click on play. Okay. Three, two, one. And the race started. Uh, so, you know, the normal way to play right now 
and to click those buttons, for example to drift and to spin, is by clicking this icon and here to launch a nitro. But now, thanks to that, that we have selected our shoulder triggers, I don't need to touch them, uh, to touch those icons uh, using my thumbs, I can simply use those shoulder triggers. So now I'm uh, holding my phone comfortably, I don't need to use my thumbs, and I can play only by using those shoulder triggers. Really cool thing. Let's change the path. Let's try to win the race. Boom. Easy win. So that's how we can adjust those shoulder triggers. Of course, we can change more things in the game center, uh, but I'll leave it to you to find out for yourself. All right, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.